I'm at SRD Engineering in Bista today. We're looking at this machine behind us, which is a Matsura. Uh, this is an H plus 300. This is their most popular and fastest selling horizontal machine in centre. Interestingly, they've purchased a horizontal machine when you used to have vertical machines. And this is the first one, isn't it? I'll, I'll start with yourself, Mark. What was the reason behind you going down this, this line onto horizontal machining? Uh, there's a couple of things, outside influences and also the nature of the work that we wanted to utilise on there. Is it purely down to volume? Do you think this machine is about, you know, lots of components, the same, churning them in day in, day out? A hundred percent. Utilising what our regular customers need, pushed by their demands as much as utilising the other machines for the other type of work. Now, I know you're tendering for new work now you've got this yep. machine, because it's a pretty hungry beast sure. and it will, will get through a lot. Yep. But the type of work that you're doing on here now, is it coming off your existing machines and just now made far quicker? Yes. Um, so that's freeing up capacity on our other machines to utilise this, to get products off quickly, utilising lights out machining. And, and when you look at this, Michael, you're very much hands on with the yeah. machine, aren't you? you yeah. You've been yeah. you've been working on the shop floor for, for a few years, I imagine. Yeah, 27 here. 27 here. 27 yeah, it's here. A lot of that on verticals and now you're going yeah. into a horizontal. What's the difference? Oh, it's, it's just amazing. Apart from it's like 90 degrees out of sync. Didn't, didn't one of the, didn't Dom the sales yeah, guy yeah, say, yeah, what's the difference between horizontal? Saying, what's the difference between horizontal and vertical? You go like that. <laughs> so you look at it like that. Yeah, it's exactly the same, but it's, it's a weird sensation because it's so used to the, the head going up and down where this one, the actual the table moves in and out. So that's totally different, but it's just the speed. Were you, da were you daunted by the machine when it first came in? Did you think, how am I going to get my, to, to grips with oh, it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. It's a completely new concept to us and it's, it's seeing it. When you actually stand back and somebody's watching, you think, well, that ain't moving. And then you think, hold on, it's not the head that's moving, it's the table that's moving. But it's so quiet as well. It's, yes. it's churning the work yeah, out, but you can barely quiet. hear it. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot, lot quieter than what we was expecting. You know, it, it's... And what, what about the work that comes off it from, from your perspective? Machine into tolerance, machine yeah. as fast as you would hope? Yeah, yeah. well, we've taken a job off uh, one of the machines up the other end of the shop, and we've taken it down from the seven ops to one. So, and then where we was doing like one, one part was coming off every quarter of an hour. This, this is doing 16 components every seven hours complete, no outside interference at all. So where's the expertise in the engineering here then, Mark? Is it down to these guys or is it down to, down to the cam system? You know, how do you go about you know, finding out the best way to get these parts off? I'd say it's a bit of both. Um, these guys have taken it on board. I mean, when we first got it, it was, it was totally new to everybody. Yeah. Um, they've utilising the tombstones getting the parts on there, reprogramming everything like we've never done before. Um, it's been a real learning curve, but these guys have been yeah. amazing getting it going. Uh, and, and, and a commercial slant sure. for you, how good is this for SRD now in being able to, to pitch to new customers, uh, yeah. maybe have more of an order or structure to your manufacturing? Sure, I mean, regularly we get monthly orders, but now we're looking to get forecasted orders so we can use this to our best of our abilities, uh, running lights out weekends, Big question, efficiency. We all know that VMCs, sure. as good as they are, they stop. You know, you have to get in, load, unload yeah. the parts, clear, swarf, whatever it might be. They can be 40, 50% efficient. How efficient is this machine? How often is the spindle turning? Okay, we're still calculating. Obviously, we're still learning by it, but at the moment, we're looking over 90%. Over 90% of the time this machine's running. Does that mean you've got to do less work now, Michael? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. I'll get someone else to do it. What about the loading of the machine? you get involved in that and the fixturing too? Yeah, yeah, uh, the fixturing is Mainly my idea is I give, tell the other guy what to do and basically he comes up with the goods. I want to ask you about this drill as well because you mentioned to me off yeah. camera about the, the precision of the machine yeah, and how, yeah. uh, explain. Yeah, well basically, because it's a new thing, we're using like mid-range price holders so they're not the best, they're not the worst, but we're putting up like a one mil drill and it's cutting micron perfect every single time, and, you know, I mean, it's and you're measuring at H7? It's a H7 limit, so we work it to 1 mil to 1.01 mil, and it's coming out exactly right every single time, and that's just with a 1 mil drill. We're not reaming or nothing. And the materials you're cutting here, they vary from alleys to stainless steel? Yeah, well, we're working with everything from aluminiums to steels, stainless steels, in canal the lot. You know, if you can hold it, we'll machine it. <laughs> good, good pitch for the company. Mark, a couple of words on the Matsura installation. You've dealt with a lot of machine tool suppliers yeah. over the years. How, how, how do these compare? Oh, brilliant. Couldn't fault it. Yeah, um, here on time, there was no issues at all. Uh, the, the prep work as well before, 
very impressed with that. Sounds like you both wanted to say something. Yeah. You want to? You yeah. want to add? Yeah. Obviously, I've been here when they installed it. Can't fault them. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. It's just a dream to watch them actually work. They're so good at what they did. Brilliant. Well, no I, I think we'll finish that one there. So here we are, SRD Engineering in Bista. Used to use all the vertical machining centres and now uh, horizontal here uh, to, not to replace, but to add to. Do you think all your verticals in this shop, in time, they'll be maybe going down this track of the horizontal? I can see us adding more. Um, again, we've running out of space as usual in this building, but we will be, I think, replacing a lot of the, the old machines with going down this route.